Hey friends, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're building a beach bungalow and we're back in Sulani. And I'm going to go on and put the picture that inspired this build up on the screen where you guys can kind of see what I was going for because I feel like this build is kind of a different build for me. Number one, there's a lot of color in it with the blue floor tile, which I originally thought was actually like water. I thought it was like a pool kind of build in the middle of this house. But then when I looked a little closer, I saw that it was floor tile which I think is just a really cool thing to have in a coastal build. But I decided to give it a go basically for that reason. I thought that the tile was so nice the way it looked like water. And another reason that this is a little bit different for me is because usually when I'm using an inspiration photo, I kind of have the whole house in the picture. So I don't do a whole lot of like coming up with how the layout of the house looks. I just kind of decorate it after I get it laid out. So this one I only had a small section to go on and as you can tell that's what I started building with first and now I'm just trying to complete the build and we add on a couple of things kind of throughout this build because like I said I wasn't really used to making it up as I went along if that makes sense but as you can tell we're laying out right now these platform stairs which I think look a lot nicer than the actual stairs in the game I think they have a better like aesthetic and so that is also kind of what was in the inspiration photo so I knew that's what I wanted to use and I thought it was gonna be really simple but I actually ended up having some issues with it you guys can let me know in the comments if you've had some trouble with the platform tool I've used it a couple times but definitely not on that scale it's just basically been one or two platforms here and there and so I just thought that it would be really easy it all came together so I figured it would work I knew that sims could go from you know from one size of the platform to up to the next size so I thought it would be really simple and so I built that and then basically finished the shell of this build I even went on and landscaped and basically did some of the outdoor decorations before I decided to play test those stairs because usually I don't play test a shell of a build because it usually works before there's any furniture and stuff like that so I had already been building this for a couple of hours before I even decided to play test that and the platform stairs did not work and I tried a couple of things and I couldn't figure out how to make it work and I almost just about scrapped the build completely because I was so frustrated I knew I didn't want to do anything different and like I said I already had the whole house built around it so I didn't really want to change a whole lot. Thankfully I actually found a tutorial on Kate Emerald's YouTube channel which was a tutorial on how to build platform stairs and apparently there is a very important part to that which is when you are building up to the second floor that you need to put a um, like actual staircase on that top platform and that worked completely for me and they were functional immediately and it was so so helpful so I'm gonna try to remember to link that video of hers down in the description box in case you guys are interested in that tutorial because it was amazing and it definitely helped me out but um like I said I actually had some more issues with the platforms too, too. they are completely functional like I said everything in the house is functional however I had some weird visual glitches with it and you may notice it as I'm building there was a couple times that the platforms like you could kind of see it right there that they'll just completely go away and you have that weird like blue color that happens when stuff disappears. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but I've had it happen before in my builds, just never with obviously platforms because like I said, I've never actually built that much with the platforms. But I was having that really weird visual glitch and I was also having a lot of trouble adding the tile to the platform and then also I'm gonna call it like the foundation color because I don't know what else to call it but it goes on the platform specifically it's not the foundation but yeah I was having trouble adding that too and I had to actually delete some of them and I had trouble deleting them so it was this whole tricky thing and I don't know if it's just that I built it really weird or what happened so I was gonna ask you guys any of you guys that are builders if you've had issues with the platforms also and if you know like how to get around them or maybe what's causing them because it was definitely more frustrating than I thought it was gonna be but we're starting to landscape now like I said at this point in the build I did not know that there was any issues with those platform stairs so that was definitely frustrating but 
yeah, the landscaping is very simple. I usually stick to pretty close to the same thing for all my Suwanee landscaping. And so it's pretty simple and I cut a lot of that footage out just because it's super repetitive. On this build, just because I felt like it was a little bit more of a neater, like, look like, I'm not sure how to describe it, but I just felt like it was more, instead of having just completely like open landscaping, I decided to use that one like very small fence to kind of make the appearance of flower beds, which I've seen other builders do. I can't tell you who I saw the first time that I saw someone do that, but I think it looks really nice. But yeah, and now we're decorating the pool also. And I'm just gonna go on and mention the windows for this build really quickly because I was talking as I was placing it. But they're a little bit different because they're not actually windows. I went on and used the glass floor tile from the Island Living Pack. And I used the tool mod to rotate it and scale it down to where it fit basically in a one tile space. And I can't remember right now exactly how small that was scaled down. I honestly can't remember because I built this a couple weeks ago or yeah, I think it was a couple weeks ago. So I can't remember that, but I basically used the tool mod to manipulate it and then I went on just regular build mode and stacked them on top of each other, three on top of each other. And I went on and deleted the wall, of course, behind it because it's not actually a window. So that's the only thing that I want to comment is that if you do have the seasons pack, I do think the weather would affect your sims in this house just because of that, because it's not actually a wall or a window there at all. But I thought it looked really nice to me. I liked the kind of modern look of that better than any of the windows that I currently have in my game. You may have noticed that I tried one of the other ones. I think it's a base game window, but I just didn't really like the way it looked. And to me, these windows kind of match more the um, the inspiration photo, the, the windows that were in that. They look so open and modern and just really, really nice. So... That is the story with the windows. I completely forgot about it while I was actually building it. And I cut out most of that footage too just because it's really repetitive. And now we're building these like rooftop patio areas is what I'll call them. Originally I was only going to do the one on the left side. And then I decided to go on and do this one also just because it looked a little bit uneven when I kind of looked at the whole build overall. Afterwards, it this one with nothing on it, it kind of seemed weird and out of place. So I decided to just throw on another little patio area, which is basically just like seating and a little bit of entertainment. You can tell I added like a children's pool. And that's another thing to mention is that this is a two bedroom house and the second bedroom I went on and made into like a children's room. I went on and put bunk beds in there. So technically it could accommodate two children. And I just had a, a little bit of stuff on the outside of this build that were like, that was kid friendly or, you know, kind of made it feel like somewhere where kids would be. So I decided to make that second bedroom into a children's room. But I had some trouble decorating the master bedroom and the children's bedroom. The other two rooms were totally fine, but for some reason the bedrooms gave me trouble. You can kind of tell right now, well, I just moved the, <laughs> the camera, but you can kind of tell like the bedroom floors were doing what I was talking about with the platform tool. They kind of disappeared and were just like there was nothing there, which of course there was. And so I think what I ended up having to do to get around that was I had to close in the walls where I had already deleted them for the windows and when I closed in the walls then I was able to put the furniture and decorations into those bedrooms and they were functional and then I had to uh, delete the wall again and everything seems to be working fine and like I said it is play tested and functional the only thing I didn't play test specifically was the children's furniture just because I didn't want to transfer a child into the household just because I'm, I was a little bit lazy at that point but I didn't play test that but everything else is functional in this house and so I'm pretty sure that will be functional also because um, it's not a very cluttered room it's pretty simple and I actually didn't even record doing that room because like I said I was having some issues and I hadn't quite figured out exactly how to get around them at that point and so I just went on and cut the footage completely but yeah, we're building this like outdoor area right now, this dining area, which is kind of what you saw in the inspiration photo. 
And then on this little wall outside, I went on and made this like flower wall. I actually hopefully should have a short video on my channel about the flower wall. I haven't got it actually uploaded yet, so I don't want to say for sure, but it should be on my channel before this video goes up. And it's basically me just making that little flower wall decoration with the tool mod. And I just thought it was a really nice little wall. Of course, that's something that I had seen on Pinterest also, and I wanted to try it out. And it's just a really nice little outdoor decoration to me. It fits in really well with this build. So I just wanted to mention that because it's not actually a piece of furniture that you can just like pull off the debug menu or anything like that. It's just kind of custom made with the tool mod. So yeah, now we're building the kitchen, which as you can tell is a very small kitchen. It's also very simple, but it has everything your Sims should need and it's completely functional, like I said. And yeah, it's pretty simple. I went with some of the furniture. I did go with the blue colors, even though there's like a little bit of a blue overload in this <laughs> build. But that's kind of what I went with to accent the like different furniture in this house. And then this is like a very small living area. Um, there's going to be the other room in this house. Like there's, we've still got the master bedroom and then we've got a study to do also. And so there's a little bit more like stuff to do in there. That's a very small like little living, living area, but that's what that is. Just something to kind of go with the kitchen because I already had so much outdoor dining that I didn't want to just put another dining area in there, if that makes sense. And now we're decorating one of the bathrooms. There's a total of three bathrooms in this house and we're only going to see one of them just because it was, um, they're all basically the exact same. And I just didn't want to bore you guys. This build took a lot longer than expected, so I knew the video was going to be a lot longer than I really wanted it to, so I did cut out stuff when I could. But yeah, the bathroom is really simple. Like I said, total of three bathrooms in all. And this is the master bedroom. As you can tell, I've closed up that wall. I really don't know why that had an effect at all. I've never had any issues with that before, but for some reason that did seem to be the issue because I was able to place furniture once I closed it up. And like I said, it is functional. After I went, like reverted it back and deleted those walls, it is still functional. I think it may be that you have to like actually click on the furniture. I'm trying to remember if you could click on the ground because that was the biggest issue that I was having. But, but yeah, all the furniture is functional and this room was completely play tested. So this is the master bedroom and you can kind of see as I move around, you can kind of see the children's room back there but I didn't put that footage in there but yeah it's very simple like I said we still are going to build the study which is pretty simple we're going to put like an aquarium in there and some bookcases nothing super fancy or anything like that basically just filling up space because I feel like this build has so many entertainment areas but that is pretty much all that I can come up with to say about this build. I hope you guys enjoy it and like it. It's been a little while. Hopefully it won't be so long before I post another video. I feel like I say this every time, but I am trying to get a little bit better about that. But yeah, hopefully it won't be long before we talk again. And just let me know what you think in the comments if you feel like it. I always love to hear from you guys and kind of see what your thoughts are too. And any tips or tricks with the platform tool would be greatly appreciated because it is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully we'll talk soon. Until then, I hope you guys are all doing really well.